This is going to be a fun video, but we're going to show you some struggles. We have the grapple on the small tractor over at our house, our current house that we live in right now. We're cleaning up the back, the back property line. So all we have here at the farm right now is the forks for the big tractor. So yeah, this could be, this could be squirrely because we're going to get this big old monster out of here without, we're going to try to slip this one into this one's place. Yeah, this could go bad. What could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? This is a big old oak. It's uh, right at 22 inches in the, in the frontier sawmill that we have will only take a 21 or 23 inch log. It's what it's rated at 23. I put 26 on it. And if you're patient with it, you can definitely put a 26 inch log on it. And let's see here on this end, it's about 19 and a half, almost 20 inches. So yeah, it's a pretty symmetrical log, very little taper. Uh oh the gizmo see something this could be you could get us on video when we get sprayed by a skunk that's going viral i know it is all right all fun aside i gotta be real serious about this i don't want to drop this back on anything that yeah that log right there probably weighs every bit of gosh i bet that's gonna be 2100 pounds 2200 pounds that's a big heavy log yeah and, and let's see what the length is we didn't even see how, what the length was 10 foot long and some change. 10 foot, six inches long. So probably actually 10 foot of usable boards. Let's go to it. So I forgot that the, uh, just the postal diggers on the back. So I don't really have a good solid ballast. The tires are loaded on this tractor. So we're gonna, we're gonna play with it right now and just see what it feels like. But we may have to go put like the flail mower or something heavy on the back of it. This wouldn't be near as difficult, but there's a big, a big uh, limb sticking off right there. I'm going to have to try to ease up under it. See if I can. This is probably the proper way to bend your forks. Yeah, pretty sure this is the proper way to bend the forks. All right, so we, that wasn't near as dramatic as I thought it was gonna be. I, I could have bent the forks there. I don't recommend doing that, but. Not just the forks there, that could have gone wrong. Well, I mean, I could rolled those down the hill probably, the worst like case scenario. Like I said, hot mess. I have to put it all back up afterwards. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens. So I don't think I would have attempted this log with my, the T25, unless it had the grapple on it and probably the backhoe on the back. With the back hole on the back of the T25, it will lift a good bit of bit of weight. And uh, but I tell you what, I, I know this is here. There's no doubt about it. So let's go to the next part that's going to be difficult: is set it on a sawmill without rolling it off the back and turning the sawmill over, like I almost did last week. But we're not going to talk about that. And you cannot hurt Frontier. Yeah, yeah, Frontier the mouse. You got. I, I, I'll put a picture in for Frontier the mouse. We got. A, we got. A, we got a little mouse living in the sawmill, and we call him Frontier. So here's a problem that I had last time with the forks. Um, I let it go too like too fast. I tilted it too far, and then um, it rolled pretty fast and almost turned the whole the whole uh, sawmill over. So what I'm going to try to do is just go across, straddle this, and just set this under the forks. 
the forks down right. Yeah, I, I've actually been a couple of my bunks by dropping. So we're gonna try to be, am I sitting on anything? Gotta go back a little bit. There you good? go. I just want my forks to be level. Go forward a little bit. There you go. Let's see if we can pull this out of here without scraping the rails. Wow, that's two that weren't really that dramatic. Again, this could have gone wrong. This could have gone wrong. Like I said, the other day I was out here by myself. Tanya wasn't here to supervise me. It seems like everything goes better when she's here. I need a guardian angel. Yeah, and I, I tilted it forward just a little bit and it rolled off and hit the sawmill backstop and literally the thing tilted up on its side and then fell back forward. The log rolled back over onto the tractor and then I had to take everything back off and then re-level the entire sawmill yeah, it was a mess. It was, it was, I literally almost took out my sawmill the other day. So something to think about. I think I am going to take the tractor and push that end around because there's no way that I'm pushing this by hand. Okay, I'm going to just take the fork and just get down low and just push this right over. Touching both. I love this big tractor. I really do, and it's it's a uh, it's a good tool to have around the sawmill. But I do like for this kind of stuff. I like the little T25 because it's uh it's you can see a lot better uh, for the small things in front of you, and it's not so strong like this thing comes up and bumps the sawmill and literally almost turns it over and the t25 is just it, it lifts a lot for what it is and it, I, I don't mean to put, put my tractor down because i love this one too but for the sawmill working around it i love it with a grapple the t25 with a grapple so for you guys that don't know my wife has got into this she got her an app on her phone where she can go out and look for wild edible mushrooms and, and books she got apps and books and she's really been studying this but she has a uh, she's been picking up all these mushrooms and she's like uh, i was like baby you're gonna end up with one of those you're gonna start pick up one of those mushrooms and start seeing pink elephants and stuff yeah, and, i already found one for you remember yeah <laughs> so this is not it's, it it's, looks want, pretty level. it's wanting to sit pretty good so it is so humid out here it is pretty humid, isn't it? I feel like a sauna a little bit. I don't mean to mess that up, but... No, no I, yeah, it's, it feels like a sauna out here. I just don't know if I'm going to get by that. I think that's good right there. Hey. No, but I don't think the, the track, it'll go by the track. Just whatever you do, just don't hurt Frontier. Frontier the mouse? Yeah. We need to get him a mouse house out here. We do. I got some peanuts at the house I can bring him. I would expect it would draw, draw snakes. Peanuts? No, mice. Well, they're easy anyway, so. Right, Gizmo? Right? They're everywhere, Bubby. What do you think? What are you seeing? What are you smelling? Hmm? You gonna chill out? A lot of work, ain't it, bud? You working really hard. Keeping us safe. Uh, today we're going to be using a Turbo 7 by Wood Miser on this. It's uh, We get them from Joe Main out of Georgia. I'll leave a, a phone number down uh, for him. He is a good guy. You call him up, you get your blades in. I mean, we usually get them in like three to four days. So I like the sevens on this particular saw. Now, my saw has the 14 horsepower engine on it. We replaced it out. So if you have the seven horsepower version, I probably wouldn't recommend the sevens. I'd probably go with the 10. Just my own personal preference. Uh, but for this hardwood, this, this sevens, boy, they, they grind through 
Now the OS23 with a 10 horsepower, I think you'd be fine with the uh, with seven degree blade. Absolutely. Well, this is gonna be tough now. Yeah, this is gonna be real tough. Just be patient. Well, it's it's less than a 23 inch log, but yes, we're gonna clear it. Whew, I mean just. That's very close. Yeah, but I think I tell you right now that this bark is uh, coming off, so. I see mushrooms up there. You see mushrooms? <laughs> I see purple mushrooms. I believe they're turkey tails. Yeah. We're gonna do some more studying before we get to eating on them though. Well, so I'm not gonna... These are the ones easiest to identify. I'm not gonna do a lot of messing around with this. I'm gonna take as big a cuts as I can so that I can I got a, another project that I can use these slabs on. So I'm gonna go down right there. Let me make sure I can, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's too close. Can you go up any higher? Yeah, I can go up higher by the So you're not wasting as much as what I'm saying. You can make well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, smaller boards out of it. Um, Daryl wants some more of these. So no, water, no waste, and that's good. Otherwise. Yeah, yeah, he wants these, so it won't be any waste at all. Doesn't make me feel bad wasting all the wood then. All right, let's just try this one tower. I turned it off. I should have left it running. Uh oh, didn't let the choke run on it. This should be some kind of fun right here. I really could take another cut. You can make just one single board out of it. I just don't think I've got enough space. Uh, the, the log's kind of setting crooked and I don't think I've got enough room to get the saw by. Maybe if I do a little prying over. No, that's pretty much it. That's just how the log is. Well, but I did get a little bit. It wasn't touching that bike stop over there. It was before. Yeah, well, it, whenever you... I might get a one inch board out of that. So that's 18 and a half inches from the deck. So we'll just go down 17 and a half, get a, a one inch board. I think I can clear that. Ooh, doggies, that's gonna be close. Did you say you doggy? <laughs> Hey, that's Jeff, uh, Jeb Clamp. Jeb Clamp, baby. Woo, doggies. I've heard that my whole life, though. <laughs> I heard that growing up before the Clampets were big. My favorite people. <laughs> Special Ellie That's May. why I married you. Special Ellie May. Ellie May and her cement pond. All how many How many y'all watch the Clampets or the Beverly Hillbillies? All the critters. Yeah, that actually works as a pretty good bark remover. Yeah. And I said that. Never mind. Towards the end, but over here, you probably can break it off. It's loose. Well, that end don't matter. I got plenty of room down there.
doggies. That was close right there. Now. I mean, it, the, it scraped right there just a tad. My name is Grace. I'm just having one of those days. I think there's a red ant nest in this. Well, that's probably termites. So that's a nice one inch board. Now we gotta turn this dude over. This is where it gets fun. It's under booming again. This is where it separates the smart people from the done people. And I end up sitting around by myself feeling pretty dumb sometimes. So this is where, actually this is where the grapple, I've learned to use the grapple come in here and grab it and rotate it over the tractor hydraulics. But as I said, I don't have it here. Just don't get another hernia. Well, you're the one who carried the other tractor to the house, so. I gotta get work it, done there too, so. If I do, it's your fault. Just, no, you can't blame me on that one. I guarantee you I can't. Nope. I think it's somewhere in our marriage con contract that I can blame you for things. They're turning to fine print. <clears throat> Woo. Adam dude's heavy. Maybe use the tractor just to live and help you tilt it. Use my legs. Let me help you. No, I'd rather be able to get away from here if I too. Something goes bad wrong. No, you'll be looking at mushrooms or something. <laughs> be distracted. Oh, there's a mushroom. And it falls over and breaks your leg. Yeah, but I don't want you to get another hernia either. You know, I ain't really fond of it either. I don't I don't recommend them. I can't really jab it. Uh-oh. We may get rained out. This is a lot like work. Yeah, we're never we're never taking a grapple away from here ever again. Use a sawmill, huh? Not especially when we have to use the sawmill. Nah, we're just not. We got all these woods over here. We need to grapple here. That's what we bought it for. Yeah, but we needed the house too to get clear stuff out. Yeah, you could have done all that with my hand. I would have watched you. I already tried that one. It was too heavy for me. Sorry to be breathing all like out of breath in you guys' ears, but this is. We getting close? Well, it's lining up. It's just piece of broke off the bark off. It's well. How far lined up is it? I mean, it's lined up, but it's just, you need to go look at it. I don't know what you want I can't to go do. look at it. Will you come hold this? Okay, I'll hold it. It should be, I'm trying to line the flat part up level. Look, the flat part needs to be level. Yeah, but you got that stuff going on here, so let me just hold it. I got that stuff going on here. Well, that's not even a problem, babe. Okay, I didn't know. That's just a little bit of bark. Okay. I look, it. another fungi. <laughs> See, you're going to drop it on your foot. I could risk it. So all I need to do is make that back flat spot stick to the back. That's close. Line it up. There you go. Give it one. There you go. Perfect. Okay. That ain't going to hold. It wants to roll back, so. Let me help you. Yeah, you're going to have to tighten, the, tighten it up while I pick up. Well, according to the little app. Oh, I'm gonna pick up here. Well, I can pick up. Yeah. I'm gonna get distracted by mushrooms, doesn't mean I can do it. Okay, roll it back, Un unscrew it. All the way. Unscrew it all the way. You're going the wrong way. Here you go. All right, fast, 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 fast. I've got as fast as I can. Faster. Okay, all right, raise it up. All right there, push it into the bottom. Push it in the bottom, in the bottom. I did. All right, go, 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 go. Woo! Woo, doggies! I'm gonna be saying that for the rest of the week now. <laughs> Stuck in my head. Oh, thank you. So it, it is September now, and it's 
it's hot still here in Tennessee, but it's not like it has been, but still very humid. So and it's starting to rain. Okay, we just kept, uh, looked at the, the weather app. There's a little rain coming through here, but it's going to be a lot of rain. So we'll catch you back after this rainstorm's over. Okay, we're back out here. Uh, the other day we were we were trying to do this log and all of a sudden it become a, not just a rainstorm, but I mean blowing rain and it's pretty tough. So it's rained for two days. So this first day we could get back out here. Happy Labor Day, by the way. And Miss Tanya, she brought her a big old camera umbrella. Yeah, we, we got some. I'm playing it safe today. Playing it safe today. <laughs> because it come a rain and not just any rain. I'm talking like rain sideways and, and full on rain. So she's running back to the to the to the pole barn with the camera, trying to yeah. keep it from getting wet. It's not gonna happen today. No, we're, we're gonna rain be... jacket and umbrella. We're yeah, it's not go. supposed to rain that bad today. It's like sprinkling. That's what you said the other day too. Hey, <laughs> I can only tell you what the weather app tells me. What? Can't figure out where they're coming from. So this one here, I cut cut that. So, it, oh, that yeah, you're on the wrong side. All right, so we'll come back and cut this off. Um, there's some live edge. I can cut down here and here and make a pretty good board out of that. That's gonna be probably a good 12 inch board or so. It'll be good for the bottom. Just set it on. Yeah, be good good 12 inch board at least. Like I said, it's not. This is not rocket science. What we're building, so. You gotta finish the stuff at the house first. Yeah. You know all things consider. What? This is fun. I enjoy this. 
Well, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. it if you come to work, this is our kind of our work, but you're not, you're having fun. Is it really work? Well, that's what I asked my buddy the other day or this morning. Not, I said, not said in it's, way, especially even in that certain kind of environment. I love the environment. I just don't like all that sawdust. Yeah. Um, I, I, we were talking about that earlier and about Labor Day. I said, well, is it, is it labor when you're having fun and then you call it labor? Is it really labor or is it just something? We found something we really like to do, or I found something I really like to do. Anyway, you like you like the wood. I like the boards. I right. don't like the all that sawdust. All right. So you're like most people in the world. They like the they like the done product. They just don't like the hard work that goes behind it. I don't mind the hard work. The, the, I don't like the sawdust. The dusty, the dusty, nasty stuff. It's, if I had allergies, I wouldn't be as bad. But since okay. I have allergies, all right. I need you to come over here and do this. Cause I got to flip this dude. Drop it. Okay. You got it. Oh, my back. Yeah, well, this is always the dangerous part. This, um, let me roll some. That'll help that a little bit. The wood's a little punky on the outside. Sitting on the ground for a while. Okay, soft. Yeah, just that age. <sighs> really? I'm glad I had you here for that play by play. We're never taking the grapple away for you ever. For no matter what reason. You have to pick up sticks around the house by yourself with your, ha with your hands and never taking the grapple away from here. I'm already picking up my hands. I doubt it. That's 2,000 pounds or better, man. I can't push it. Let's let, let's let leverage push it. Well, this, this rusty thing here, it, it's a little bit rusty in it. I think we're up there. I felt like we were up there. Yeah. Hit the stops. So now it should be somewhat easier. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Man, that's like real freaking work.
Well, I gotta get it far enough over that I can rotate it over here. Never bringing the grapple away from here ever again. In fact, I think we should just turn, stop and go get it. I was trying to get it back far enough this way so that I could rotate it over, but it's just too big to rotate over on the bunks. So, Sawdust clogged it up. So this is going to end up being about 13 and a half inches wide, which would be pretty much perfect. But then we're going to need some two by or one by sixes for that other side. So I'm going to cut down probably two of these boards for it to go across the bottoms. And I, don't, I still want to do the, the other thing on the side. I don't. I think it's going to look weird. I just think we should keep it straight, clean lines. I don't want the piece up the back then. I think that's going to look weird. The what? The piece up where you got the bench and it goes up the back. Yeah. It's going to look weird. I don't think so. I know so. Who was right with the bridge? I broke clocks right twice a day. I already can see it down in my mind. I said that to somebody. Uh, I forget who it was. Some one younger fellow. I said, broke clocks right twice a day. And he's like, how is that possible? I'm like, well, the hands. He goes, oh, I thought you, I, I use digital. <laughs> I said, well, I guess that makes sense. I don't even know what so, it is. Hang on a second. Can we not go ahead and use this big board right there that's on the, on the forks to put that on the bottom? No, because this guy's pretty rotten. Well, it's going to get roughed up anyway with the weather. Well, I'm, we're going to seal it. Just like we are the bridge, we're going to seal it. I mean, I mean to build this where it's going to last forever. I know. You know? I'm and just going to... And is, you can drive a tank over it. I want this to be the bottom piece. Because that wood we're stacking up is going to be heavy. That's oak wood. There's going to be 1,000 pounds sitting on that all the time. So it needs to be pretty substantial. So I'm going to cut this down. I'll cut a two and a half inch board down. Don't make it too thick. Two inch board then. 
I'll do a two inch board down and then I'm, I'll make two two inch boards because this is, uh, I don't know if it's long enough. It might be long enough. So you have to pick it up and remember that. And the other boards are really, really yeah. heavy. Well, that's 12 foot. So yeah, we're going to have to have two boards. And then the other board will be the, the leftover pieces will be the seat. So we need two two inch boards off of this. And then the rest, and the rest the will top. be roofing. Are then we going, we're then not you can going put that piece thick. there with live edge. You can put that up for the back. We're not going to go thick on the roof, are we? No, it's going to be very. It's going to be kind of like this. Um, we could. I'm afraid that it might curl. Not if we put them together and they mount them together with some screws. Well, I'll, I'll just put 75 nails per, per board, and it'll be all right. So that right there had a little tension there. So that was 11. 11 and three quarters. We'll just set, we'll use the red one. I'll set that on, on four. We'll come down four quarters, or eight quarters. We'll come down eight quarters. That'll give us our, there's one.
Okay, it is hot. I'm happy this is done. I had a good time making it. I don't know if you got, I, I probably look all grumpy when I'm making these things, but uh, I'm just thinking and boy, I just, I, every board I cut, I'm thinking, well, where's this board gonna go? What's that board gonna do? My wife's behind the camera and there's some big hornets flying around her. So she's, any sudden jerks of the camera, that's what's going on. Uh, the last time I used this saw blade, I uh, had an unscheduled blade dismounting. That's what I'm gonna call it when my blade comes off. An unscheduled blade dismounting and it binged up several teeth. I used some pliers and straightened them back out. Uh, and we got through these boards, but uh, the next time we come out here, we're definitely putting a brand new blade on for sure, uh, for sure. Well, we still always got the sanding block. You can go over it. Hey, yeah, well, this is gonna, that's true. And this is gonna be, uh, this, we're looking for live edge or rough cut lumber. We're not looking for a pretty. And I will say that I succeeded. Hey, I can't wait to show you what this uh, project is going to be. This is a very unique project. Uh, if you are into firewood, you'll really want to watch this. It's if you've got firewood at your house, this, this next project, you won't see it on this, but the next project you'll see, it's going to be interesting. Hey, I appreciate you watching our channel. If you would hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. God bless and have a great day.